5.40 a.m. November 29th, 2017. Just the new best moment of my life. The day my son, Luke, was born. This is the week. This is the week. Our son is born. Gotta stay focused. The last six days have been some of the most testing days of my life like it's been extremely emotional there's like all of this pressure like are you making the right decision and then all of this like fear of like you don't want to leave them in the NICU but you know they're gonna take good care of them and that's what they're telling you is the right thing and then it's just like you know then it's the act of like raising a child after that so it's like but I'm also like so excited to meet him like that is my overwhelming feeling like I just, I cannot wait to meet him at all. It's just gonna be great. So with the baby coming like six weeks early, it is a uh, significantly busier week here at Super Carlin Brothers because we're trying to get as much done before Thursday when I will be a dad. Right now I'm trying to figure out when Callie the intern may be returning. What? And also trying to figure out whether or not anybody wants to make videos for our channel while you are gone because it is going to be so much work if nobody wants to help. Is it whiskey and wine or whiskey and rye? Oh, I think it is whiskey and rye. Just four guys in an elevator! Yes, two days until Uncle Dom. Uncle Dom! Oh man, this is like my new favorite word ever. <laughs> I am so, so, so excited. He's gonna have like the tiniest little butt. It's gonna be so small. <laughs> When she did it two and a half weeks ago, his head was super tucked yeah. low, and it's she had a hard low. time getting the measurement, actually. This is his thigh bone. These are cards that all my third graders made me. This one says, you are such a nice teacher, and you are also pretty. That is why the card is pretty. I hope you are well, and I hope you come back soon. We are thinking of you. We miss you a lot and love you a lot. I hope you get Will. What are the three types of candy in school? Smarties, nerds, and dum-dums. Got a lot of rainbows. Uh, clearly, someone is copying someone here. Right? <laughs> Why did the lettuce and tomato race? The lettuce was far ahead and the tomato was trying to catch up. Now this one says, why did the patty beat the ketchup? because the ketchup couldn't catch up. And this one says, why did the tomato and apple had a race? Because the tomato was trying to catch up. Hey, hey look, Grandma and Grandma. Hey guys, we brought dessert. Yeah, I pour it on my team. 5.40 a.m. November 29th, 2017. Just the new best moment of my life the day my son, Luke, was born. Oh, and it just all oh, happened so fast, too. Guys, remember, last week we were like struggling, should we go right at 34 weeks, should we wait a little bit longer, and it was like really stressing us out, and the November 30th is when we were going to induce. We had settled on 34, and then Luke decided to just go ahead and lift the burden of that decision from us all together, uh, which is the first amazing thing he ever did for us, and come a day early. As close to the day as he could have, but a day early nonetheless.
it was like 4.30 in the morning and Beth woke up and thought she was having contractions and they came in and they were checking her and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, you are, you are pretty far along. And they like wheeled her right out of the room and like, like 20 minutes later, he was just born. And it was like, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Like I called her mom immediately like, oh my God, it's happening right now. And before she even got there, boom, there he was. Check it out. This is what you would call actual liquid gold. It is colostrum. It is the breast milk women make like in the first two to three days after birth. And it is like super, super good for babies. I don't wanna brag or anything, but the nurse did say that Beth's colostrum was like the richest yellow she'd ever seen, so. And we're back at the hospital. Yesterday they discharged Beth, so me and her actually had to go home and we spent the night there, which was kind of sad because Luke had to stay here in the NICU. I'll tell you what, it's just not cool at all leaving your kid at the hospital when you have to go home. The sort of silver lining is that he's doing really well and that his stay will be relatively short, like nine to 10 days. Or at least that's what they told us so far. I guess time will tell. Look at this. They're as big as my hand. So they've got him under this blue light right now for jaundice, which I guess most newborns have. But he gets his cool gas sunglasses. glasses. 